just bear with me a second i'm just doing a quick stock check for the weekend just see what i've got in my little uh, cabinet down here and uh, actually um it all looks like we're pretty well stocked up i think we've got a liter bottle of crack in there and uh, we've got some gin um so yeah it's all looking pretty nice in the cocktail cabinet Tell you what I'm up to tonight. So it is Thursday night. I said I'd be back by the end of the week, and he's back. So it's Joff for anybody not not that doesn't know me from Mo Hotel Adventures YouTube channel, and we are motorhome crazy. Absolutely, motorhome. <laughs> it's a it's an a disease uh, motorhome itis mo hotel adventures we just conquer but um anyway i'm in my motorhome tonight and it's all looking pretty nice and warm cozy got another weekend coming up of motorhome life we haven't done a little um weekend for a little while so uh, quite excited so that's why i do uh, let's just get some lighting on so you can see me hello so uh, yeah got got the mood lighting on at the back look, all nice and warm it's like nice got the delonghi fired up down here and uh, all lovely and toasty. It's absolutely brassic outside. Uh, I kid you not, in Devon today, it's like not nice at all. So anyway, at least it's dry anyway. That's a bit of a bonus. But what am I talking about today? Oh, got something to show you in a minute. Oh, look at that. But um, before I start on that, I'm just going to um, rip back a little bit again. Uh, we were talking about um, helping Kath out with a little motorhome trip uh, with some different places in the camper parks and this, that and the other on Tuesday. So I'm just getting myself comfortable. And uh, anyway, so tonight was another little thing that I was uh, thinking about in the back of my mind. And uh, it is them kind of places that you go when you get so if we're going for example if we're going back to calais which we possibly could be um in the not too distant future okay so um some of my little favorite haunts if you're going on the calais route if you're going down to dover to calais or even dover to dunkirk okay so uh, that little half an hour extra if you if you get that um ferry depending on what ferry you get um whatever sort of direction if you're going up the coast it doesn't really matter it just probably saves you another half an hour um to to get dropped off in dunkirk anyway where are you gonna stop uh when you get up into the um Kent area up around Dover if you need to stop up there it's always kind of like we've done it in the past where you actually get up around Ashford and uh, have a bit of an overnight or there or the ferry the next morning it just um, puts you in good steed I do like that vibe I must admit and I'm I'm feeling that again for this trip that I've got coming up and uh, then I was kind of thinking back and uh, one of my favorite little haunts is a pub stop um, it's in I'm going to uh, put some in information in on screen now and it's called the dog house and it's a micro pub and uh, vinyl bar they have like um records in there and they play music they have live music but it's um a really nice they have some really nice beer in there from um the, the local area and uh, also they're doing i was actually looking i was getting a little bit excited today and i was looking at their menu of food and they're doing some nice food up there as well looking at reviews just recently absolutely stonking i i actually tried to ring them today but i could not get an answer on the telephone they were saying if you need to make a reservation use the website so i was just sort of like just trying to get a, an okay i don't think it's going to be a problem because they do the overnight party parking around the on this little um artisan village up there anybody been um also guys if you're watching this video and you stop overnight in that kind of area where is your most favorite spot to stop have you got a really nice one uh, a lot of people use the black horse caravan club site we know that but um so that's obviously caravan club thing but um you know we we just sort of like that kind of alternative a little bit get a nice pub stop get a freebie parking and then just go and have a couple of beers have a bit of food whatever you know 
that kind of scenario so it's nice on that one but um so totally recommend that one uh we used to park on Marine Parade a long time ago, but it did get a little bit noisy. Uh, there was a lot of cars used to go by in the middle of the night, and it could be a bit like rocking around on the motorhome. So we haven't done that for a long time. That was in the early days, the Marine Parade. And there's a lot of people that have used Marine Parade. I know that. It was a real fave. Uh, we've seen loads of motorhomes up there in the past. So that's that little bit of like leaving england um we so when we actually found the doghouse i think we were doing the brit stops directory up around that kind of area and we looked at like i think it was something like three other pub stops around that kind of area up around ashford and uh, the time we we actually drove to these pub stops and it was kind of like do you know what i'm not getting the vibe here let's move on to the next one we moved on to the next one and then there was like a the car park was a little bit tight it was quite busy um then they were talking about maybe um you coming back late and we were kind of like now nah, we just want to get part and it was probably going to be busier again like so anyway we ended up with a doghouse and there was plenty of room um i did it it was a long time ago now when i made a vlog up there because i remember doing an epic time lapse up there and um but yeah it, it just ticked all the boxes for me it was a quiet night um it's not far off the motorway the doghouse is approximately i think it's about 35 minutes from the dover port so it's ideally situated you can get up in the morning and if you've got that nice little time on the boat run down on the boat you know what i mean it's just it's just nice it just sets off your trip really nice so uh the other side um so again depending on what kind of direction you're going in a lot of the time we're heading down into germany so you end up getting over to like calais and uh either dunkirk calais and heading south so um yeah and normally at that stage if it's early in the morning I'm, I'm up for a bit of a drive then so i'm normally out of the vicinity but if i am actually going over of an evening time for example so um always nice as well <laughs> it's always nice as well um and the evening time sort of like on the ferry then uh so then you get over and you want somewhere within kind of like an hour and a quarter of parking up and you know where our favorite is bruges in belgium the camper park down by the marina you know it how many times i've done updates on the camper park there we've been there that so many times um and we've been using it for eternity we just it's just a nice kind of you know when you get that sort of like comfort feeling of you're back there you feel comfortable it's epic um oh so yeah today another better i'm just gonna re um refer back to my phone because i've uh, just got to get the net so you know us as well we do go to epair in belgium with the meningate and the camping there and uh blasphemerson blas blasphemerson something like that the camping um it's changed it's changed names just recently okay so uh, i was actually looking at the um website today um hit on google maps and i'm kind of like hello i don't recognize that name what name's that it's now called urban gardens e pair the camping check it out we'll get the link in as well um we are open all year round and there's a little um, sort of update here and it says uh, camping blasmerson is no more the site is now called urban gardens we have solid plans for the future with urban gardens it's kind of like a brand they looks like they've got a camping in ghent as well in belgium just along from bruges the next um, big city on from bruges go along the motorway before uh, brussels um so we have um, solid plans for the future with urban gardens um but you can already contact us now some images on the website are images of the future on the reservation page you can uh, see the current situation blah 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 so um yeah so that's an interesting one so that'll be uh, interesting to see how what changes are coming for that camping there in epair and again it's another really comfortable one when we use it 
on the way back as well. We stay there on the way back as well as Bruges. Um, a f there's a few more around that kind of area. A few years ago, we used to use Gravelina. Gravel lines, do you know that one? Have you heard of gravel lines? And um, you get on uh, camper contact and uh, search around that kind of area between Calais and Dunkirk. We kind of started wanting to drop back a little bit we were kind of kind of happy with the the situations over the last couple of years in that area uh, i'm not going to go into too much detail but we were trying to keep safe we didn't want to uh, have any aggravation whatsoever and we tried to um you know get back we do we don't like staying on ports we hate staying on ports unless it's uh pool where it's <laughs> super quiet but um yeah we you, you try and you don't want to be where there's a ferry coming in every hour and a half brr, brr, all the noise and all the rest of it lorries coming off headlights all night um so we do not like um staying on ports but um, Gravelina used to be quite a nice little park up and uh, anybody, you, you know, there's a lot of people that have been there, so you know the score. But um, that's one we used to use. And uh, again, when I think back, it, it could be a little bit noisy at night. You, you know exactly what I mean, guys, if you've been there. Um, we used to get, a, you know, used to get sort of um, some cars revving up in the middle of the night going by and stuff like that. But um, yeah, all good. Um, yeah, that was Gravelina. Uh, we did another one called Honshoot. Hon Honda Shoot. Do you know that one? Have you heard of that one? Honda Shoot. It's with the wind. There's all like a windmill, um, and we've done that one occasionally. It, it wasn't. It wasn't the best one. It's not as. It doesn't feel. Um, it was. A, it was a freebie at Honshoot, admittedly, but um, it doesn't kind of feel like your camper park, like Epair, where there's a barrier, Bruges, where there's a barrier. You're in amongst lots of motorhomes. We were we were sat out there, and I think we were, we were just the only motorhome there. Um, but we've done a you know there's, there's loads like that. Um, the other one we used to go to is Burgies. So if you're coming up from Calais and you uh, then cut off um, by Dunkirk and start heading south, you go past. We call it Burgies. 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 <laughs> Anybody give us an update on that? So. Um, Burgies was another freebie motorhome park. I haven't been up there for a long time, to be honest, but a um, bit of a gravelly car park, okay. Um, you can walk into the town, there's some restaurants and bars and stuff. But um, yeah, so I just thought I'd give you the heads up on that. Anybody that, um, some of these people that are maybe going over, we still see on the forums, we still see uh, um, people um, not been before looking forward to uh, uh, what do people recommend to stop um, but just make sure you know just maybe just do a little bit of research uh, even on the camper contact you get reviews and uh, just you know check out the reviews I'm, I'm always kind of do it because I want a good experience I don't want any sort of you know if the whole trip um, has got to be and the amount of times we've been in our motor homes over the years and uh, it's all gone pretty squeaky do you know what i mean it's all been really nice and uh, just a couple of little odd occasions where you get the the boy racers in the cars and stuff like that and uh, you know the horns going and stuff like that so just that's unset it's a bit unsettling you just you just don't want that and uh, that's what we don't want so check out the reviews guys and uh, hope you've maybe just sort of like taken a little bit of more board from this video and um that's the kind of videos that i kind of and hey guys i i'd love to hear your feedback on this as regards the places where you stay if you if you can still recommend it's it's difficult to keep up with all these kind of places um new places that urban gardens crikey oh, it's changing names there's things moving on all the time and um it's it's a job to keep up with uh you know so if there's any favorite places that you think that we would like give us a comment thanks a lot so anyway in the meantime um so i think you've waited long enough and i'm i'm so excited so um <laughs> so they're orange and we've got a little motif on the front of it can you see that oh yes a little dutch number plate 
on the front so let me just un uh, fold this they <laughs> once i get involved undoing sweatshirts they're never the same again caroline will be saying what the have you done with it so anyway we've got a little motif on the front like that and then to be honest um i was messing around the other night and i'm like oh yeah i'm just uh we'll try a little bit of that and that's what you go so on the sleeve we've got a uh, little logo as well there um coming down the on the on the sleeve look and then on the back what is on the back joffy what is on the back look at this look at this Oh yes, how many sweatshirts have we got? <laughs> but it all makes great fun, do you know what I mean? So anyway, well, that's the sweatshirts and it's never, let's say that's what ends up, my sweatshirts end up like that. Um, I need maybe a lesson on folding sweatshirts. Maybe I need to um, check out some YouTube videos and sweat sweatshirts, t-shirts, stuff like that. I think it's a, a thing you can use, but um, okay. Anyway, back. So, oh, the uh, people that make these for us are um, Yazoo, Yazoo Custom Shirts. So you just get your logo and uh, uh, fire it all online, even with the little motifs. Um, whatever motif you come up with, they will print it on your sweatshirt. So um, fantastic, Yazoo personalized clothing. I, mate, we just use them. We just use them, and they've been fantastic. But um, if 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 you're looking for personalized clothing, fantastic. Um, so anyway, back to our friends at Avery, and uh, so they send through. Let me just show you. So. They always send us these nice little folders with made with love. So um, it's all cool. But anyway, inside, inside is these fantastic new stickers. Oh yes, look at them. Look at that. Oh, look at the shine on it. Oh, so you can um, choose the kind of finish you want on there with Avery. And uh, I, don't forget, I've got to chop all these out. That's the only thing. So, yeah, but I, I love these stickers. I love these uh, stickers. So the, this is the design we came up with, and um, I'm a happy bunny. So that was that little lot. And then I'm, um, so anyway, yeah, so we're always up for, you know, a little bit of uh, crafty stuff. And uh, we've got another one. Another one. What could be in here? So I'll show you guys. What's in here? Ooh. And there's one already missing. So these are on the gold paper. So they end up with a little tiny gold um, piece around the sticker. Um, let me just hold that up. Could they? <laughs> oh yes! Oh yes! So we got a load of them. These are our kind of like little. Um, what are we going to do with these? <laughs> Stick them all around Holland. <laughs> Stick them all around Holland. Amsterdam. Look out! You know what I mean. But um, yeah, fantastic. Absolutely, Avery. One hundred percent. Absolutely love it. And uh, you just peel them off and uh, stick them everywhere you want but um yeah it's all so like now we're just having so Do much fun quick change bah look at this i am living the dream absolutely living the dream uh how good does it feel just to have a personalized hoodie on um that you've sort of like you know put a little bit of input into and uh, yeah got the mo hotel on the front i absolutely love it guys absolutely love it and uh, if you've got this far on the video thanks for watching this video um hope it's sort of maybe inspired you and uh, um i guess you know at the end of the day we've been i've been doing like trips we, we did we used to do, we used to actually do um halloween trips on our motorbikes and and find all this crazy stuff and hang on the back of our motorbikes and um castle down the 
down the rivers of Germany, spooky castles, all the trips. And uh, that was even before we did YouTube. So now I've actually found YouTube. I'm just like, oh my God, it's just so good to uh, share with other people what you can um, get up to and enjoy with your motorhome life. So uh, thanks for watching this video, guys. And uh, I know there'll probably be a few uh, comments on the uh, Joff, you're absolutely off your bonkers. And uh, it helps, do you know what I mean? You just gotta keep on taking the tablets and uh, enjoy your motorhome. So uh, until next time, guys, I really appreciate you watching this video. Give me a thumbs up and uh, always, you know the score. Drop me a comment and um, we love it all. See you soon.